The cats are all scrubbed clean. And Kiki? Up and running. Don't worry, follower data is all there. We've been getting support on the back channels too. Even some ex-P8 members. P8s? Really? Can we make sure they're vaccinated before we let them in? Well, we already neutered them. Prime A cleared out of that bunker pretty quick. Word is that a few of them are looking to join us. But I don't know. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Technically, we could use the help. But can we trust them? Million dollar question. Hmm. Something's burning a bit of a hole in my brain. I can't seem to shake the idea that I missed a date with fate again back in the desert. I mean, that giraffe thing was something else. And I did make some glorious promises to that popsicle lady, but I was hoping to meet up with Alice. Seems we can't quite intersect. Alice, huh? Then maybe she'll find you. Ah, yeah, well... She likely knows where I'm at, at all times, but it's getting a message from her that's taking its time. She's the reason I held up in Pawnee longer than was healthy. I was going over Bloom's crime prediction algorithm, just checking up on them after their WKZ debacle. And this visualization shows how they flag different areas as low risk, high risk, or lethal force authorized. So these areas up in Oakland? It's high risk. Yes, gang territory makes sense. Oh, but these. That, my friend, is CTOS without any makeup. Motherfucker. Oh, the They're setting schools, clinics, stores as shoot on site? That's subsidized housing. I mean, th those people got priced out of San Francisco. Where the fuck else are they supposed to go? You hold on to that anger, Marcus. We're gonna need it when we go after Blue. Oh, yeah, I can do that. You're right. This is systemic injustice at its highest level. You found it, Josh. Well, Ray helped me bypass the firewall. I couldn't access this is them. all yours, kid. Good work. Hey. Inherit my motherfucking code in that monster. If CTOS is pushing the cops to expect a shootout, they're gonna be coming in hard, too. Basically, they'll get shot. I get it. Thanks, Mom and Dad. What Bloom's doing? It's bad. It's like the movie version of the Minority Report book, predicting crimes before people commit them. And the system is flawed because people are gaming it. Yeah, it's exactly like that. But don't worry, this will end better than the movie. The movie ended pretty well. Oh, then it will end just like the movie. That doesn't make any sense. The movie ends with the precogs being sent away to an island. Oh, okay. So not exactly the same, but still good. <laughs> hey, I need some info. Is it okay if I stop by? Sure, but you're gonna have to come to me. I've got an appointment I'm trying to keep. In the old neighborhood? The very same. All right. I'll see you soon. So I figured out that Primate modified the game over Zeus botnet to deliver the payload. I've updated our security protocols, and Sitara's running inventory and backups. Good work, Josh. Shouldn't have happened. Won't happen again. We learned. <laughs> yeah, man, for sure. You know, it's weird to see hackers worrying about their brand. That a problem? I don't know. Maybe if I'd been more aware of the media machine, things would have turned out different. Hmm? But maybe not. We have a broader audience now, and everybody's competing for brain space. If we don't wrap it in a shiny package, we don't draw attention. I'm not shitting on your pretty pictures or anything. I'm just saying, it all feels a bit manufactured to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, do not let Satara hear you say that. Crime prediction software can't work on you if it can't see your face. We gotta get masks for all of us. That'll show Bloom. 
Right, because we can all wear masks all the time. Why not? It doesn't help with biometrics. They can even recognize the way you walk now. That's why you have to walk without rhythm. Walk without rhythm, and it won't attract the worm? Yep. We'll make a fremen out of you yet. Fucking douche and nem man bun. A man bun. Who can take that seriously? Don't hold back. Don't ever grow a man bun, Marcus. They're obnoxious. Promise me you will never even think about doing it, not even as a joke. Sounds like I've got my Halloween costume all figured out. <laughs>